So just to be completely honest, my attempt at remaking the covers for these windows was a complete and utter failure. Something that I've been meaning to do for a while is to update the blackout covers that I use on my windows. I've never really shown you how I made them. So what I'm going to do today is just that because whilst I wanted to make them slightly better actually for the moment because I'm car camping again this weekend I just want to sort out one or two of them so what you're going to need for today's tutorial is weed fabric duct tape scissors a pen some flip chart paper a big cardboard box the first thing to ask is why do I use cardboard when literally I think everyone else on YouTube uses Reflectix? The simple answer to that is that there isn't really a reason other than when I first made my blackout covers back when I did my very first stealth camp, I just used whatever I had and I couldn't be bothered to wait for the Reflectix to come and I had some weed fabric already. So I used the cardboard, I used the weed fabric, and actually, you know what, almost a year later, they're still doing fine. Interestingly, when I made my blackout covers originally, I actually made them for every single window in the car, even the front windows. But I soon found out when I actually went car camping that you don't actually want to block the front windows because it looks, it makes it look better, I think, if the front is open and then you just use a blackout curtain across the middle of the car. So the things I actually made are these. So it literally is just cardboard covered in weed fabric and then black gaffer taped down. Now these ones are the ones for the side windows and these are the ones that I actually want to update the most. And the reason why I want to update them is because what I made was literally just one cover that went across the whole of this window. But what I actually want to try and make now is individual ones for each part of these because I think actually it will help it to fit a lot better so at the moment it's literally just like this and then normally I have the sun covers on there as well and that helps hold it in but what I want to do is for it to just go into those gaps also another change I made as well on my last car camp was I put little bits of velcro on the windows just little tacks here and there Although I found the cardboard did actually stay in place, I mean the back one's never fallen off on a car camp, the ones that tended to come off was actually this one. So these ones tended just to pop down. So just by having a bit of Velcro in the corners, it just helps it stay in place. Although of course I do recognise that the Velcro would be better if it was black rather than white. Um, I do have some black stuff, so I'll probably have to get some of that out. What my cunning master plan is with these two main side windows, I'm going to literally reuse the ones I've already made, because the theory is it's the right size. All I have to do is make it smaller and cut it down the middle. Now, the reason why we needed the flip chart paper was so that we could basically make a template for cutting the cardboard. Now this is some lovely uh, flip chart paper from a team meeting we did. Everyone loves it when you get given the flip chart paper to make notes on, isn't it? Well, this was mine. So let's have a look. Let's do this. So we're going to put these up against here. And then that will, uh, that will at least tell us what we're working with. Then what I'm going to do is just run my finger down the window to give me the size. So, actually that's a bonus, this paper is so thin, it's actually scoring as I touch it. Okay, so it's not going to let me score the bottom bit, so we're going to cut that bit now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the line slightly larger than I need to. first attempt. Okay, well, as far as a template goes, I'd say that's pretty much spot on. The next job is to undo the tape on the existing one and then see if we can get this template to fit on that piece of card. And there you go, that's the cardboard out. 
And actually, as you can tell, it's in pretty good condition, considering that's been on the windows absorbing condensation for, what, a good 10 months. So let's have a little look see. Yeah, so you can see how I was off originally. This actual template was too small anyway. So I need to hope my other box is big enough to make these templates out of. Let's have a look. So what I've done, I actually have used the original piece of cardboard and it fits on perfectly. And there you go. That is not bad at all. A little bit more, much there, I can take off some of this. That little gap will be, um, I can put something in there. Once the weed fabric goes on, then that will automatically cover up any excess little holes around here. I think that's it. I think that template, that's a winner already. And that is that. We are all in. Any little tiny gaps on the side will be filled by the weed fabric. All the corners are okay. It's standing up by itself and actually it goes down into the window a little bit, which is quite handy. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna reuse the fabric from the one I've just taken down. And there you go. That is the new template in the old fabric sleeve. And now what we'll do, we will tape it all down and then hope it fits properly. Just to be completely honest, my attempt at remaking the covers for these windows was a complete and utter failure, to put it bluntly. So all I'm gonna do now is apply the same logic to what you just saw and literally just remake them to the same size that they were. The reason why it didn't work is because the lip here is nowhere near large enough. It's way too thin and it won't hold it. So actually it has to cover the whole window anyway but at least what I can do by remaking it I can make them better than what they were and I just have to hope I've got enough weed fabric left because I just um, massacred one of them. I must say that was probably considerably harder than I thought it would be but we have both templates done and on and there we go much better fit than what the original ones were a lot firmer cut to more the inside of the door rather than whatever I did last time and here's the other side and look at that perfect so all I need to do now is put the weed fabric back on and they're both good to go now I was going to redo more of them but to be honest after the kerfuffle doing that I think I'm quite happy with just having redone these two for the moment. More so, what I wanted to do really was to show you how I made them. And I think you can kind of see that now. It's definitely taken a lot longer than I anticipated to do this. But eventually... And there you go. Perfect, essentially. Much better fitting no light escaping, happy days. And on that note, I look forward to using them next weekend.